another thing that we see happening quite often in the traditional horse world is something called flooding. Now, people don't know that it's flooding. They don't know what that is. But basically, it is how many people have seen somebody have a flag on a stick and a horse on a halter and lead rope? And they're wafting it at the horse. And the horse is, you know, trying to get out of it, trying to get out of it. And that may go dangerous, but sometimes they may settle down. And then finally, they just, they settle. And now they can waft the flag all over them. And the horse is like, yep, I'm just standing here. People are like, see, he's better now. He feels better about the flag. That's not necessarily the case because what often what that's called is flooding. And basically what that horse has been driven into is what I talked about in the very beginning is learned helplessness. So now they said, I put everything I can into fighting that bag and that scary object, but nothing has worked. So now I will give up. So now they stand quietly, they tolerate it, but they're not any happier. Their mind is still in. If you let them go, I'm running. They're, so their mind isn't like, oh, I like the bag. They've just learned to tolerate the bag. Now, the goal of that for people, and this is done so innocently, this isn't done to create troubles, but the goal is to create desensitization. Mo typically what happens is it's sensitization. Now we've sensitized them, not only to that item and that situation, but to who knows what else. So a lot of times it backfires. It's not desensitization is the result but sensitization. So one of the things I, examples I like to use for funny is I don't like spiders. I know spiders are good. They eat the bugs. They, they do all their good. And I, I keep, keep that rational as I possibly can, but I don't want spiders in my bed. I don't want spiders around me. I don't want spiders on me. Spiders, you live in your corners and will be separate. So, you know, that's, and the bigger, the weirder, you know, so that's, that spiders for me. Well, let's say Jesse comes along and says, um, hey, Shauna, will you lay in this box right here? I say, oh, okay, Je I trust Jesse, sure. And I go lay in the box. And then she kind of straps my hands in. I'm thinking, okay, that's a little weird, but you know, whatever. I'm all open, you know, it's Jesse, I trust Jesse. And then she comes along with a front loader full of spiders and dumps them in the box with me. Now, I'm gonna be having a bit of a panic attack. I'm gonna be having a hard time with it. I'm gonna be d going through all sorts of things in my head. And now finally, I may just go, okay, I'm being still. I'm just being still and I'm standing still. And she goes, oh, look, Shauna is better about the spiders. And she gets them all out, lets me out of the box. And, and then that's that. She thinks, I just desensitized Shauna to spiders. She's good with spiders now. No, I'm not good with spiders now. And in fact, I, not only am I probably more sensitized to spiders, but if Jesse came up and, and to the next day and said, Hey, will you sit in this chair? I'd probably like, no, Jesse, I won't sit in any chair. I won't do anything you ask because you have led me to a place that was terrifying for me. So instead of getting me trusting and, and getting desensitized, I'm now sensitized to what Jesse is asking me to do and what that may mean and what that may mean and what that may lead to what that may lead to. I start feeling more suspicious about the world. So I think that that's important that we keep that in mind. We can do systematic desensitization. We talk about with Sherry where we do it in smaller steps. We say, can you, so this would be systematic desensitization. Say Jessie decides spiders is something she's tackling with me. So she has a spider in a plexiglass box with air holes so it can see, but, or so it can breathe, but it's in the box. And she said, Shauna, can you, I'm just gonna set it down there. Can you just look at that? And I come up and go, yep, I see it. She goes, good, that's great. You know, and maybe she made me, gave me $5 for it. Maybe not. Maybe she just gave me a pat on the back and said, good. I was, okay, I, and I could leave. I could process that. There wasn't trauma in that. I could go, okay. Then she does it again. And maybe it's a little closer now. Can you sit next to the box? And then I say, okay, I see it's contained. I can sit next to the box. I didn't die last time. Okay, we're good. And then she say, can you hold the box? Can you, yes. And so pretty soon I'm, you know, looking at the box and we're holding the box. Now maybe she puts a bigger spider in it. You know, we do this again and it's all going good. And then pretty soon there's a screen on top. You know, it's not a hard place. So now there's a little more air, you know, a little more, you know, closer to each other. And then pretty soon it's all a screen box. And then pretty soon maybe it's just on the stick, whatever it is, but she's done it in a systematic way where she's invited me to participate in it. And can I process it? And can I feel safer about it? Can I, can I see that that's okay?